So we will uh, <coughs> chant mantras 32 verses 30 to 40. Chapter 2 Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> Thirty verses thirty to forty. Dehi nityama vadhyo yam. Dehi sarvasya bharata. Tasma sarvani bhutani. Na tvam shochitu marhasi Swadhar mama picha veksha Na vikam pitu marhasi Dharma dhi yudhar shreyonya Chatriyasya na vidhyate Yadrichaya chopa pannam Svargadvaram apavratam Sukhina kshatriya partha Labhante yudha mitrisham Atha chetvamimam dharmyam Sangramam nakarishyasi Tata svadharmyam kirtim cha Ketva papa ma vapsya si Akirtim chapi bhutani Kathayishyanti te vyayam Sambhavitasya chakirti hi Maranadati ruchyate Hayadranadu paratam Mamsyam te twam maharataha Yesham chatwam bahumataha Utwa yasya silaghavam Avachyavadamsya bahun Vadishyantita vahitaha Nindan tasya nindan tatsva samadhyam tato dukhataram nukim ato vapraksya si svargam jetva va mubhokshya se mahim tasma duttishtha kaunteya Yodhaya krutha nishchaya ha Sukha dukhe same krutva Labha labhau jaya jayau Tato yodhaya yodjyasva Naiva papam avapsyasi Yesha te vihita sankhye Buddhir yoga te maam shruno Buddhya yukto yaya partha Karma bandham prahasya si Neha bhikramana shosti Pratyavayo na vidhyate Svakal svalpa madhyasya Dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat So we studied the last class uh, 28th mantra, sir. 28th verse. We will be studying 29th and uh, followed by 30th. This is the conclusion of uh, immortality of the embodied. 29th. Ascharyava pasyati kaschidenam 
ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯವದ್ವದತಿ ತಥೈವ ಚಾನ್ಯ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯವಚ್ಚೈನ ಮನ್ಯ ಶೃಣೋತಿ ಶ್ರುತ್ವಾಪ್ಯೇನಂಬೇದನ ಚೈವ ಕಶ್ಚೇತ್ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯವತ್ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಕಶ್ಚಿದೇನ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯವದ್ವದತಿ ತಥೈವ ಚಾನ್ಯ ಆಶ್ಚರ್ಯವಚ್ಚೈನ ಮನ್ಯ ಶೃಣೋತಿ ಶ್ರುತ್ವಾಪ್ಯೇನಂಬೇದನ ಚೈವ ಕಶ್ಚೇತ್ so <clears throat> this conclusion of this uh, immortality of the embodied indestructibility of the embodied so in this translation says one sees this as wonder so also another speaks of this as wonder aashcharya another her hears of this as wonder and though having heard none knows this at all as we have been discussing the atman is impossible to understand by intellect nobody can understand nobody can know by your intellect through your intellect atman but atman is always there atman is everywhere brahman is everywhere god is everywhere but we cannot grasp to our equipments therefore anything which is impossible to understand it becomes aashcharya aashcharyam is a wonderment a person becomes feeling wonder because of you are unable to understand how that has come out for example a person takes a pigeon out of the hat a person takes a pigeon out of the hat suddenly wow how did you do it so you will be wonderstruck here it is magic kantama this magic why magic is attractive because it beats the intellectual understanding i actually need to test on today la ante double test so that is called aashcharya aashcharya is wonder means which is beating your intellect which is not able to get understandable by intellect then you will get aashcharya here atman is the ultimate wonderment of all the things in the world any discovery suppose somebody invented a vaccine it is aashcharya somebody feels oh great so somebody vaccine for corona virus somebody found out some new place somebody found out some new space some new you know item like new equipment so these are all the people get aashcharya so here he is telling here is another instance where the verse is taken from an upanishad the contents of this verse come from chapter 1 section 2 verse 7 of kathopanishad one sees the self as a wonder seeing is eyes eyes will see the sights he is telling he sees the self as aashcharya means when you see the great mountain mount everest great niagara falls you feel awestruck wonderment where from this great creation of waterfall or this great everest mountain how did it come about any biggest thing expression of divinity it is aashcharya so depending upon the individual's uh, spiritual development the person feels the aashcharya the divinity perception you see sir um, a person who is highly developed spiritually even he feels an insect or a flower or a fruit by taking the fruit itself a banana is there he peels the banana and he feels aashcharya what a god's creation so he gets such a ecstasy such a happiness oh god is there who is power packed with this 
even a, an eyeball like that how many millions of operations even each and small cut happens in the skin there are thousands of forces coming and repairing it naturally so a spiritually developed person feels that divine expression in every small bits and pieces of this universe ordinary not spiritually developed they feel a sunset a sunrise ordinary developed people so if you go to the beach and see the sun rising from the ocean wow what a god's creation what expression what a nature so you worship and you get reminded of divinity even worst person who is not at all developed lowest fellow you take him to mountain of kailash or himalayas wow he reminded of god he recognizes god wow what a god's creation he needs that much biggest expression to remind him the god De depending upon his spiritual development there are characters worse than that who don't have basic spiritual development also those people only look for what sir miracles oh if god repaired that you know if the people look for miracles god given eyes to blind fellow so god you know there is a, a honey coming from his photo all these rubbish miracles they expect they are worse than lowest creature sanma so minimum spiritual development you get that wonderment that ashcharya that happiness of what a great divine expression how this divinity is functioning if they are highly refined even the oxygen breathing what is that which is oxygen going who is breathing how is that breath taking place how the pranas are functioning how the liver is functioning how the kidneys are functioning how the alimentary canal how the blood pressure is maintained blood sugar is maintained the all the functions in the body is maintained somebody is able to do it so that helps him to get to that state of wonderment ashcharya ashcharya that's what this uh, verse is telling the supreme self one sees the self as a wonder and another speaks of the self as a wonder yet another hears of the self as a wonder even after hearing non experiences self because you to experience you need to go beyond the human equipments body mind and like you have to drop so the supreme self atman is the core of human being what is the nucleus of every human being is god and god only this personality is behind is god only core of human personality it is immanent and transcendent it is within you and it is all over the world all pervading it is omnipotent omnipresent omniscient omnipotent means all powerful omniscient means all knowing omni present means all pervading everywhere all powerful there is nothing more powerful than god there is nothing more knowledgeable than god god knows everything so it is infinite ananta shakti in infinite beyond the reach of human equipments human equipments cannot reach the supreme god atman the human senses cannot perceive the self senses natatra chakshur gachati eyes cannot reach the self senses cannot contact the self the mind the mind cannot feel the self manasu manasu feels the objects of emotion my daughter my son my wife my husband anything worldly persons or worldly objects mind feels when it comes to god emotion will not 
contact God. You feel divine, but emotion is only emotion, divine emotion. But it is not contacting divine object because divinity is not an object. So mind can feel only objects, not the God, self within. The intellect cannot conceive it. Intellect by thoughts, by thinking, you can't reach God. Means you can't conceive God. You can't understand God. What is God? Where is God? You can't understand. So you have to go beyond equipments to realize God. Anything that lies beyond the reach of the body, beyond the reach of the mind, beyond the reach of the intellect, anything beyond the body, anything beyond the mind, anything beyond the intellect, wonderment, because it is ascharya, ascharya, impossible to conceive, impossible to understand, impossible. that's what I told you. Suddenly some pigeon comes, wow, because we can't understand from where it comes, ascharya. So, marvel, wonder. So, the body, mind and intellect is a wonder beyond the reach, marvel. A layman, a lay person, common man tries to reach God. Every human being wants to reach God, the self, the supreme self. Through the material equipments. So, they are trying through, they will go all the way to, what is that, Tirupati, Balaji, and uh, Badrinath, Kedarinath, Makkha, Madina, they will go. They, if you go and ask any Muslim person, he says, in lifetime we should go to Hajj, Hajj, Hajj Yatra. And the uh, government also promotes free transport, free providing all minority in JP. Thinking that God is sitting there. <coughs> So, this common man believes like that. The material equipments cannot, ultimately they fail. In the end, he is filled with wonderment only. After Tillaka, he just gets Ashtarya, wonderment. Oh, what a great Kailash. Kailash Nath, Ishwara. What you will see? You will see nothing there. It is just simply wonderment and there. And you want to say, I see nothing. Oh, so I am swelling on the crystal clear. Crystal and I don't know whether you went or not. So, it's just a, a vigram. Nothing will be there. <clears throat> so, even after heard, the filled with wonderment because God baffles, confuses, baffles. You perplex the wonderment. You cannot understand. That's why you see, we have Puranas. The Purana stories know even Prahlada. <coughs> the God came down in Narasimha Avatar. Narasimha is neither man nor animal. He is like in between, in a peculiar form. So, what is that the great stories convey? God appearance, if you are able to conceive, it is impossible. Any. What is the Takara? There is like a Soham of Apu and body, body, human body, all peculiar. So these are all sages and saints trying to communicate that is beyond intellect by stories. Because how can they communicate to the common man by stories? He will question why this Narasimha. We are, we are not able to see such fellows outside. What is this? These fellows don't think only, okay, they will go to Samachalam, Guru Vajshikam, Supreme Pratham. Ah, we had a nice darshan. They don't question, they don't think, what is that actually, the idea behind that entire story. So God baffles all human perceptions, all human emotions. Perceptions and emotions and thoughts. Reflections. God breaks them all. You can't capture them. Aaron's these fellows, American fellows, first fellows, they'll go and catch by this time. Only they failed. In everything they successful. Except the God material, they are failed. Utter failure. Only people who found out these sages and saints up in India. So, which they are not able to understand. <clears throat>
because they only go by physical perceptions and laboratory tests and senses evidence, which is not possible. God, if you want to know God, you have to drop it. So they are caught. So the entire Trump and their life is gone. That is the thing. So it's very interesting. So even after having heard about God, you listen to the master for years and years, nothing happens. It's still wonder only. And he heard from God from the experience of enlightened masters, self-realized masters, or having read about God. You read Bhagavad Gita any number of times. You still under wonderment only. Because you are, you are studying what? With your buddhi and manas. You have to drop both of them to go beyond to reach. So, even that is a wonder. Self-realized masters having read about by authority to not ordinary books. You take authorized books like Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, authentic. Is uh, endorsed by enlightened masters only written. Even then you can't experience God by equipment. It's very a catch-22 position. Vedanta textbooks. None knows or experiences God. None knows. Not only now, or not only in the past or will be in future also, can never experience by anybody in the world. God cannot be experienced. God is ever remain the greatest mystery. It is a great mystery, a great marvel, a great wonder. So they will say all the time, you know, sir, seven wonders of the world. What is the ultimate wonder? Seven wonders, the Eiffel Tower of Liberty, you know, uh, Pisa, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Some people, some seven wonderments are there. Great Wall of China. Uh, they are there. If you go to Google, that will be list is given. All these stupid wonderments, they will think that that is the greatest wonder. Who created them all? Behind ever that Aslan wonderment is Supreme Self or the Atman. Nobody is interested in that. Hmm? God is everywhere. The world is a mere superimposition upon God. God is all pervading. The whole world is just a projection, like a screen. No, sir. Screen is a white screen. The movie is a projection on the screen. The screen is permanent. The movie is only temporary projection. You see a movie where there is a white screen. The movie will be full of fire. Some movie of fire you will see. It will burn entire screen. The moment you go and touch the screen, it is so cool. Fire you see, but there is no fire on it. It is just an imaginary projection. Similarly, there will be a big flat tsunami they will show. If you go and touch the screen, no wetness only, no water. It is just a superimposition under man. It is just a apadinch body. It is not real. The world is a superimposition upon God. What is there is God only. What we experience is the Maya. That is the world, which is in superimposition. Yet none knows God. Because of the, because of the, none knows God. Because of the limitations of what? Equipment. Body, mind. Human equipments are the abstraction to experience God. Though unknown, even though God is unknown, one can tune in, one can attune, tune in to the divinity by the divine expressions as we discussed. You see the Niagara Fall. You see even the negative side of Corona. There are, I think, 10 lakhs crossed in India. Now that is the latest news I heard in the morning. 10 lakh, 40,000, 30,000 total cases in official cases. And some X number of, some 10,000 or so, some deaths, I think. So in India itself, 10,000, uh, 1 lakh, 10 lakhs. Hmm? So, it is a wonder who created that, who is spreading that, why it is going, what is that aim and purpose, you don't know. And no human being has any control over it. So, it's very interesting. Asharya, Asharya. 
everybody is uh, stay safe stay distant all these things are they are done nothing is on i was told that there is a royal paradise somewhere it has come and it seems uh, women's college campus opposite man gayatri women's campus in that apart opposite street so it is all uh, somebody is telling so it is a wonder we can't do anything what you can do if it comes to any way it comes to apartment what you can do? so it is a wonder so though unknown one can tune into the divinity in the world by feeling the wonder of nature that is its nature as a person advances spiritually as a person develops spiritually he experiences this expression of divinity wonderment more and more pratidhi kuda manaku aashcharyam kalagala everything boring life and that fellow has no spiritual development the the moment you are alive you are a wonder who is that alive who is that dead who what is that nobody knows we are alive itself is a wonder what is the guarantee wonderment is in every split second that needs a spiritual awakening awareness of the spirit that you don't feel bored only you don't feel any kind of mechanical people say life is boring sir like how to kill time they are not able to understand the beauty and grandeur of the god's presence and you should be vibrant with the energy and the pulsating with this instead of that uh, it's uh, what is that sir lockdown life is boring and we don't know how to spend time all oh, because of lack of fundamental development of human values lack of spiritual development anyway he talks about spiritual development so at the lowest stage of development he needs a spectacular expression of nature spectacular magnificent big with this color of a niagara falls up to all and he doesn't his mind is very timid so that is spectacular expression of nature like the vast himalayas or the grand canyon this you must have been knowing i don't know canyon maybe america canada or something grand canyon to notice the manifestation of god in this world as he advances his spiritual development already i covered he does not need that much just the sunset and sunrise you are highly developed oh surya bhagwan you feel bhagwan and there will be lagade lagade all of them all in the kind as if he is surya is working for that fellow like that that fellow is doing it because low development it is no awakening so development is a less development as he advances spiritual development he does not need spectacles he to recognize divinity a sunrise or sunset can inspire him spiritually inspiration comes automatic it is just a inspiration what a wonderment there is a opportunity to study bhagavad gita like this in lockdown time is it not his blessing we are enjoying like fellows are dying in icus fellows are in samagar suffering in so many places we have two meals a day three meals a day we are under one roof and have nice you know i think this is the most richest heaven in this life untuga nadu kavali sir manushi so it is a great spiritual awakening is enough recognize divinity sunrise or sunset in span continuing further on the spiritual path when he reaches the very high state of spiritual development a mere sight of a flower a small fruit i told you know a small hand you you see your own personality you see his little little things you get so much inspired you get so much motivated you feel so much wonderment because of the high spiritual recognition a mere sight of a flower you see a uh, nice flowers and on the green tree beautiful flowers you get inspired or a fruit a banana or pineapple you see how beautifully power packed inside how and outside covering all who is manufacturing what is that which is responsible for that such a hygienely nicely packed for your enjoyment you are enjoying mango 
but it is packed fully nicely no bacteria no virus nothing so it is what a skin color what a skin covers how it how it is nicely protected so and they will and eons are cut open simply they can't see the divinity this is the lack of spiritual development of fundamentals a further on the spiritual path when he reaches the very high state of self development a mere sight of a flower or a fruit can it transport him to the spiritual axis in the final state of spiritual development in the ultimate state of spiritual development all these wondrous experiences all these great experiences wonderful experiences culminate means totally merge into the transcendental knowledge of the supreme self and enlightenment you become realizing the self there is no more individuality you become the self only there is no experiencer and experiencing object to object to subject to rendu become you become one and one that is god realization enlightenment there is no more body mind intellect you become spirit this is the 29th verse now we will be getting on to 20th, 30th verse dehi nityam avadhyoyam dehe sarvasya bharata tasmat sarvani bhutani na tvam shochitu marhasi dehi nityam avadhyoyam dehe sarvasya bharata tasmat sarvani bhutani na tvam shochitu marhasi so now it is a final conclusion of the entire topic this is this indweller indweller means atman supreme god brahman this indweller in the bodies of the all people all world living beings is ever indestructible atman the supreme god brahman is indestructible it is cannot be destroyed oh bharata oh bharata means oh arjuna bha means bha means light light means consciousness rataha means reveling consciously constantly thinking and enjoying and attuned to that consciousness is called bharati yuga so the meaning of bharata people don't understand bharata means they are always with the divinity they are immersed in divine consciousness while conducting their duties and responsibilities they live like anybody uh, they live like their duties like father mother brother children family and they live normal but they never disconnected from the light knowledge consciousness bharata ratih bha light you are reveling in light so that is the greatness of uh, being born in india therefore you should not grieve for any creature you should not grieve for any creature you don't have to grieve for your this battlefield of the kitten king why is suffering who oh, arjuna is grandfather or guru they are all killed is suffering krishna is giving the confidence and clarity not only these relations you should not grieve for any creature in the universe why because atman is indestructible the body is born body will die the atman within the body is will never die there is no birth and death this is the verse translation we will study the commentary so krishna start sees a sermon to arjuna from the verse 11 man start chesina kuda verse 11 11 nunchi 30 varaku this topic went on what is that the indestructibility of the embodied with a powerful statement 
what is the powerful statement in 11th told the wise asochya nanvashocha spam prajyavadamsya bhashase gatasu na gatasu msha nanushochanti pandita pandita dannavadu wise do not grieve for the things which are natural the living are dying people people some people will be continue to live some people are dead and gone gatasu means gone agatasu means going people there are two types of people in this world going people who are all in the second category going towards graveyard some people already gone they are there there are two types so the wise do not grieve for this natural phenomena of coming and going why at a time everybody can go no there is no thing like that it is only transportation problem so one fellow should go next fellow should come it is like step by step queue so the wise do not grieve neither for the living nor for the dead sanpoil wal gurinchi kuda baal paddu patukunal gurinchi kuda baal living or dead subsequently in verse 25 to 28 krishna appeals personally to arjuna not to grieve that is the last uh, highlighted uh, this 25 26 28 mana chadukonu he reasons from different angles he analyzes from different different ways what is the body what is mind what is atman what is its nature what is its gunas what is its uh, qualities he defines everything and he gives that various reasons to establish the point that you are the atman and atman within you is never subjected to any modification any change or death or birth it doesn't have so you are the atman therefore you don't have to bother so arjuna should not should to be not to grieve he reasons from different angles of point out of the futility of grieving over the inevitable your body will be born it will grow and it will decay and die so it is a natural thing it is inevitable you can't stop it in the present verse he draws his final conclusion in this 30th month this mantra he closes with the conclusion therefore so after so much mathematical derivation step by step by what a answer therefore you should not grieve for arjuna oh arjuna you should not grieve for any living creature or dead creature is a powerful conclusion this indweller refers to the self indweller means that which is dwelling within you local that what is there is a self indweller the one self dwells in all living beings all creatures of this world these creatures are numberless you see bacteria or virus they are trying to break the chain it is increasing the chain huh what the thoughts are lockdown lockdown they tried they lockdown virus is not lockdown virus is enjoying huh? is there any so there is no such thing called uh, anything um, breakable it is the uh, every creature has the same infinite power it keeps spreading infinite only so is what is saying it is numberless they are telling that you for your safety you be safe and not again not for the safety of virus so to save yourself you stay home and and the virus um, is a natural and a god only knows uh, it is only increase uh, it's very interesting numberless if you see bacteria if you see virus if you see any organism it is numberless countless atman the self in them all is one and the same is in the entire city any number of millions of millions of bulbs and fans and electricity gadgets what is common denominator power and power alone electricity and electricity electricity has no difference similarly whatever this nama roopa this name and forms of varieties and plurality and diversity and 
all the uh, you know equipments common denominator is atman and atman alone god has no difference so god has no uh, atman has no uh, identity of uh, division or demarcation so atman remains one and the one and the same the bodies of the beings perish the bodies have but bodies have death body will die definitely so the atman will not perish not the atman atman is the real identity so what is our original identity atman we have to remember that we are the atman that is the only thing because we lost the identity we lost the identification we think we are the bodies we are these personalities 